This is a short presentation of the review paper on coarse-grained protein models and their applications in Chemical Reviews Journal. My name is Sebastian Kmiecik, I'm the co-author of this paper, and on behalf of all co-authors, I will guide you through the presentation slides. This slide shows approximate application ranges for protein modeling at different resolutions quantum, all-atom, coarse-grained and mesoscale. The horizontal line shows simulation timescales and vertical line presents system sizes. As shown in the plot, the classical computational modeling of proteins in all-atom resolution remains inaccessible for many protein systems. Lowering the level of protein representation from all-atom to coarse-grained significantly extends the modeling opportunities to much larger simulation timescales and system sizes. Coarse-grained protein models can assume various levels of reduced protein chain representation. This slide shows you all atom representation of a tripeptide and the corresponding coarse-grained models. Various coarse-grained models are presented in the slide. Rosetta Centroid Mode, CAPS, UNRES, Psycho and Levin and Warshare model. United sidechain atoms are colored in orange. Pseudobonds of fluctuating length are shown as springs and lattice models are shown on the underlying lattice slide. As demonstrated, the protein made chain could be represented by all heavy atoms or by one or two united atoms per residue. Just one or two united atoms typically replace the sidechain. Various force fields definitions for coarse-grained models are possible. Physics-based force fields are usually derived and translated from classical all-atom models. Very different are knowledge-based force fields, called, called also statistical potentials, derived from the statistical regularities seen in known protein structures. Finally, various combinations of these two different approaches are possible. The figure on the slide illustrates the advantage of coarse-grained force fields as compared to all atom. This is the effect of the flattening of energy landscape in a coarse-grained model. This flattening enables efficient exploration of the energy landscape in search for the global minima while avoiding traps in the local minima. Well-designed coarse-grained models of not too low resolution enable reasonable reconstruction of modeled structures to all atom representation. This opens up a possibility of multi-scale modeling based on a combination of the computational speed of coarse-grained models with the high accuracy of classical all atom MD. The figure on the slide shows typical multi-scale modeling scheme that merges coarse-grained and all atom modeling. In specific tasks, the resulting all-atom structures could be used as an input for the next stage of coarse-grained simulations. Multiscale modeling methods based on coarse-grained protein models can offer many advantages over classical modeling tools. This slide shows example application of CAPS coarse-grained model in four different multiscale modeling tools. CAPS doc for flexible protein peptide docking. CAPSFLEX for fast simulations of protein flexibility, CAPSFOLD for protein structure prediction, and Agrescan 3D for prediction of protein aggregation properties. In all these tools, CAPS coarse grained model serves as an efficient simulation engine, which provides significant speed up over atomistic modeling techniques. All these presented tools are freely available as web servers. In our review, except an overview of existing coarse-grained protein models, you will also find a summary of their applications. These applications can be divided into predictions of protein structure, dynamics, interactions, modeling of membrane proteins, and so-called integrative modeling, merging different modeling techniques with various kinds of experimental data. All these application areas are covered in the review. One of the most promising application of coarse-grained models is presented in the figure, and this is molecular docking with large-scale conformational changes of protein receptor structure. The figure illustrates an example case of flexible protein peptide docking using coarse-grained-based CAPS-DOC method. 
In conclusion, coarse-grained models already play a crucial role in prediction of protein structure. A similar progress is now being made in prediction of protein complexes. And the next challenge is modeling long-time dynamics. More details about coarse-grained protein models and their applications you will find in our review. I also invite you to visit our laboratory website where you can find a quick access to our modeling tools. Thank you for watching.